Hello everyone. My name is Mr. Tomato and we are back. As you know, we're not back. This isn't um this isn't Pokemon and this isn't the Warriors. I'm going to have to po I'm gonna postpone Pokemon for a little bit because basically it um messed up the save and I I'd have to start from ages away and I can't be bothered to catch up at the moment. So I'm just going to have a little break, and uh, we're going to have a little go on some Ratchet and Clank. I will get back to the Pokemon later, and the Warriors, I'm going to have to see if I can get someone to join and do some co-op on that with me. But I reckon, that'll be, I reckon I'll be able to find someone to quite soon. So, we'll just go on here. Things might be looking a little bit strange for you at the moment. I'm going to quickly change the settings. Oh yeah, I've got I've got to change it to 50, 60 hertz. Yep. Yeah, it seems to be looking alright now. All right, and we'll get started with a new game. These are my two ones before, and we'll select that one. Yeah, we'll go. Pressing circle to accept kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy VII. Anyway, cutscene time. Robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Sorry about that, I had to turn the volume down a little bit. There's a little robot walking about. These robots obviously weren't coming important during the game. So we begin playing as some kind of trousers wearing Pikachu with a hat. Picking up some bolts, which are money in this game, which makes sense. Which just makes you think that everything here must have been very expensive to build. It's like building a house out of pound coins or something, I suppose. Or dollar notes, depending where you're from. I really hope this recording turns out well, because I've actually tried this game before. And I hope the screen's not too dark, because that's... Uh, also, just before doing this, I tried doing um, Dead Rising, which is a game I love. Because who doesn't love zombies? And, um... I had to... Uh, I actually had like an hour or so recorded and when it got to night time everything on my screen was too dark I couldn't even see where I was running so I had to cancel that and that really annoyed me so hopefully this one works because I've been really unlucky lately so I might actually have to get like a new TV or probably have to get a cheap little one or something 
because it's been something that's annoying me for a while. Boomer wrench. What's this stuff? Nano tech. I haven't played this game in ages, so I might be a little bit rusty. There's a few bits of this game I can imagine might be a little bit of a trouble for me when we get to them, because there's bits I remember. But we'll get we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, I suppose. And if it really goes badly, or just cut out a bit and make a little fail montage like we did with um, when me and Bradley tried to... What are you doing here, little frog? When me and Bradley tried to do um, Super Smash... No, not Super Smash Bros. Um, Super Mario World. Things seem to be going okay on the recording though, which is good. I'm not so sure about like all the graphic settings and everything, I'm gonna have to sort that out. Make sure everything's alright. This jump attack is twice as powerful as this attack. I've always really loved how this world looks. I don't know what it is about it, but I've always I've liked it. It's Kind of like a little wilderness in a way, if you know what I mean. I'm just picking up bolts because we're going to need them later. And that'll do. Backpack. He found himself a doll. Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Are we not good enough to save the universe? That fellow. Well, he's on the radio every week. Solar system, universe, same thing. No. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of. My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreg, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean? Looks like a big crane wrench thing. Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet could to do a can, I suppose. And drift into the sun, where it will explode into a flaming. I think exploding bad. Of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able Sad to get information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I we could become criminals and steal other people's ship and sell them off on the black market. Ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Well, we could save the universe. That's cool, too. Deal. 